To begin our cake pop experiments, we need to make cake. You can use a box mix or bake your favorite cake recipe. I decided to go easy on myself by purchasing two different cake mixes to try. One, a dairy-free and gluten-free yellow cake that I added some sprinkles to, and the other, a dairy-free red velvet. To make them completely vegan, I substituted the egg for applesauce. Begin baking your cake according to the directions or the recipe being used. While your cake is baking, we must create the next component for our cake pops, frosting. For this component, you will need 3 and 1 half cup powdered sugar, 1 cup of vegan butter, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. Add all ingredients to a mixer and mix until well combined, set aside. Next, I'll be making a strawberry simple syrup for some fun later on in our experiments. For that, Add to a small sauce pot over medium heat, one cup of water, one cup of sugar, and one small bag, about 10 ounces, of frozen strawberries. Heat and whisk until well dissolved and the strawberries have completely thawed. Simmer on a low heat for one to two minutes, and then cut the heat and allow to cool. Add this mixture to a mixer. Store the mixture in refrigeration for later. When your cake is finished, remove it from the oven and allow it to completely cool. Once cooled, the cake can be crumbled in a large bowl until a uniform crumb is formed. Add in a small scoop of frosting at a time until the mixture somewhat resembles a formable dough. Now this is the portion of my experiment that started to go all wrong. I'll pick back up on the actual tutorial after we have a little fun. My friends and I formed the dough into balloon-shaped cake pops and placed sticks in them. We then put them in the freezer and allowed them to freeze overnight. The next day, I created a brilliant red frosting and dipped the pops in. It was a mess. It was my hope in this experiment that the pops would solidify, and instead they fell apart. <laughs> I guess that's the fun of experiments. <laughs> but don't worry, it didn't go to waste. Rearrange the table for a new experiment to sacrifice the failed cake pops. Here is how you perform the act. Using a red balloon and a funnel, fill the balloon with the strawberry simple syrup. Inflate the balloon with an air pump. Be warned, using human breath will cause this act to fail. Next, we need an apparatus to hold our balloon and to protect us from harm. Using a flat sheet of clear plastic, I formed a cylinder. Place the cake pop on the center of a safe surface and lower the shield around it. I had to create a small hole in my shield to trigger the act. Place the balloon in the top of the cylinder and cover with a bit of plastic wrap for further protection. Next, press a needle into the balloon and... <laughs> that was satisfying, but be warned. Perform this act at your own risk. Now going back to the drawing board. After some research, I discovered I could coat the pops in modified melted carob chips. To finish our cake pops, form pops into balloon shapes. Next, heat up some water in a small sauce pot to a simmer. Reduce the heat some and place a bowl over the top. Make sure there is no water touching the bottom of the bowl. Add in one half cup of carob chips and stir until melted. Add in one tablespoon of coconut oil and stir until well melted and combined. Dip the end of a paper straw into the melted carob and then insert it into the cake pop. Remove the carob from heat. Now, place the pops on a parchment lined baking sheet and then into the freezer for only 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, heat the carob again, adding in another one half cup of carob chips. Mix well until melted. Dip the cake pop into the melted carob and using a rubber spatula, smooth the carob and remove the excess. Press the face of the cake pop into the red sugar and your it inspired cake pops that can be either vegan or gluten free are done. Thank you so much for watching the Veggie Nerd. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eric. I make nerdy, vegetarian lifestyle videos. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on a future recipe. If you're interested in checking out the video I did for Halloween a couple years ago, I'll put that up on the screen. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.